I'm so sorry I missed you at work earlier. Dad said you were carrying around a, a stack of six points. Did he say that? He lied. It was only five. <laughs> you know, Mom, if you and Charlie want to have dinner, you don't have to go to the diner on my account. I guess we just wanted a little alone time. Imagine that. Got it. Sorry. I, I got the hint. Okay, well, enjoy your date. Thanks, Pete. Bye. Well, shall we go somewhere else? I think that's such a good idea. <laughs> Let's go. Charlie, huh? you've got something on your mind. I just want you to know that I'm here for you anytime if you want to talk. I know. And thank you, and I do. I really do want to talk to you about everything. Someday. Okay. But right now, there's nothing I want to do more than take you for a walk in the moonlight. Gigi, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. Why would I be embarrassed? I'm not the one who acted like a total jackass. True. Look, I know Jared's not your favorite person in the world, but it's so not a big deal that we kissed. Good, glad to hear it. Why? Why? Why do you even care? I will apologize to Rex. I'll even sign off on Roxy's concept for the wedding. You know, the gambling casino, the champagne spewing out of fountains, poker chips as favors. What you will do since you're so good at controlling other people's lives, is make sure nothing stops this wedding from taking place. I don't understand. I think you do. If I don't marry Rex, I'll never speak to you again. But what if Rex's feelings change? Or yours, for that matter. I have no control over that. Well, they better not change. If Rex and I don't get married on May 9th, I will leave for Paris and never come back. Who knows? Maybe I'll marry Jean-Pierre. He certainly made his interests known. Jean-Pierre? Man knows a meal ticket when he sees one. But... So help me, if that man laid a finger on you... Not yet. You would... You would get involved with a sycophant like Jean-Pierre just to spite me? If I lose Rex, I don't care who I wind up with. At least Jean-Pierre could distract me from my broken heart, but I don't need to worry about that, do I, Mom? Because you're going to make sure of it. All right. What exactly do you want me to do? You know... You're the one that wanted to skip this fundraiser so we could stay home and, and protect Star. And I, I wanted to talk to her about what we were discussing earlier. And so we did that. And why don't you and Langston head up to bed, OK? Yeah. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. OK. All right. OK, baby. All right. Good night. Good night, Langston. Good night. What'd you say to her? Oh, just, you know, mother-daughter stuff. You took her aside, didn't you? We're all on her side, Todd. And I know that you think it's like out of sight, out of mind. But what if its absence makes the heart grow fonder? Please, do not push her. You might push her away forever. I'm not going to stop. I'll never let up. Network call is concerned. I'm so sorry. I didn't even see your mom coming. What did she say? Well, she told Cole that my dad would send him to jail for shooting Miles Lawrence. And then she said that we should never see each other again. So, so what are you going to do? You know what? I'm going to see him tonight. Because I can't imagine not being able to hold him. Or to kiss him. I can't imagine. I, I would die if my dad heard him. I would die if I had to say goodbye to him. So. 
I don't care what you and Jared do or don't do. I was just surprised, that's all. Why? Do I not deserve to be kissed by a good-looking, successful, charming, nice Charming? Guy? Never mind. You deserve all that and more. Thanks. So, congrats on the Calto deal going through. Thank you. Your dad was really happy. Hope he told you what he told me. No, what, 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 what? Just that he's appreciating having you around. Well, I've always wanted to be part of a real family. Well, you are a real interesting family. Funny how things work out. Yeah. Funny. Guess we'll have to see who the last man standing is. You know, with old Commissioner Bo, you might have been able to get away with, say, letting a delinquent shoot a man in the chest and walk. Next time, you won't. There won't be a next time. Ha, ha, ha! Oh, yes, there will. You can't help yourself. The only question is how many people you take down with you. Hey, I hey. debated coming back here, but I think you really should know. Oh, hey. Sorry, I thought you'd be here alone. We'll talk later, okay? No, it's it's okay. What what's going on? Rex got into a fight at the diner with Jared Buchanan. Oh my God, is he okay? Yeah, he kind of started it. Oh, what were they fighting about, Natalie? No, Gigi. Gigi? Yeah, I guess Jared kissed Gigi at work, and Rex thought he was taking advantage of her, and. Uh, you know what, I'm really sorry, and I don't want to cause any more problems between you and Rex. It's just, girl, I just thought you should know. It's fine. Gigi isn't going to be any trouble for us, is she? No, Gigi won't be any problem at all. 